This is a still from the nine-second video allegedly showing rugby league player. There was a sex tape that came out with an NRL player on a few days ago, and uh, with a woman's head. Well, so it's been confirmed. Twyla Blakely. Twyla Blakely is a 39-year-old actress on a New Zealand soap opera. The shows are doing the act, but you can never see her face. No, people are asking why does she even fess up to it? What it has done, it's it's really evoked strong opinion from people. I haven't even seen a public outcry or a community reaction to this when there are things happening out there in the world that really shouldn't be happening. I will not take on the shame and the guilt that people expect me to have because you're not happy with something that I did in a private moment. If I, as a grown woman, make an informed choice in a private moment, I do have that right. What hurt me was how cruel people were being. And there's a real shaming of the slut connotation, which was not extended to the other person involved in this, just saying. Um, I do feel like I'm walking around (laughs) with a scarlet letter, you know, like (laughs) hung around my neck. Well, you know what? So many people said to me, they said, Wills, if you were a guy, you'd be a legend. I should be celebrating myself being a 39 year old woman doing this because I'm going to be dead one day and I promise you this I'm not going to be sitting in some rest home going oh my god I'm so glad I didn't hook up with all these hot young guys that wanted to hook up with me when I was you know a little bit older than them. I don't accept what people want to think and take on their shame that they expect me to have. I respect that people are upset and will talk about me and maybe get glee from it or feel better because they're having the opportunity to put somebody down. That is okay. But I am not going to take on the shame. I I will take on the hurt that my family is experiencing because of the fact that we are a Samoan family who is incredibly religious. Clearly, I have slightly different, you know, life choices, but my family are bearing an incredible amount of shame. My son is Those are the things that I will take on and I will wear and I will fix those the best the way I know how. It took me a week, a week, to be able to talk to my mother. I'm 39 years old and I could not even talk to my mother. Um, You know, all of us, whether we're in the public or whether we're not, the one person you never want to disappoint is your mother. My mother is in Samoa. And, and is surrounded by people who, who have very real judgments about this. And we all know how Samoans roll, you know, reputation is everything, shame is everything. I, I was talking earlier about disappointing my mother, I disappointed my son. This was a situation where I had to explain to my son what was happening. And you know, the hurt as a parent uh, when your child is hurt because of something that you've done. Only parents know. Um, he will be okay, but at the end of the day, what he does know is that I am a good person, because if anyone knows me, it's my son. He knows I'm a good person. He knows that I treat other people with the utmost of respect. What people haven't seen is the incredible, overwhelming support and positive things that have been said to me in private that don't actually have to be there in the public forum to make them more valid. And I mean like women of real standing and manner in the community and even women that that have completely different lifestyles to me but as specific women can understand where I'm coming from and actually understand the importance for our community to look at this and say, why are we so angry about what a woman does in her private sexual life?